<laughs> what do we got? Oh, drive modes. Let's see. Touring, sport, track mode. Oh, that's nice. No, that can't be right. Really? Are they actually serious? Hmm. Let's go find out. Welcome to another episode of the 604 Garage. Welcome back everyone. Well, as you can see, winter has definitely hit us hard here in the 604. This is probably the coldest temperature they say we've had in the last 50 years or so. And definitely the 1LE is snowed in pretty well. But what we'd like to do here is think about something that GM did with these cars. Something I've always wondered and we're going to try that out today. So before we do that, we got to uh, undig this guy. Go inside and uh, take a little look at uh, something that GM gave us to play with here. Before we can actually get in the car and show you what I'm talking about, we've got to clean this thing off. So it's actually minus 10 here, which for you guys who work with Fahrenheit, that's uh, about 14 degrees. So again, this is about the coldest we've had it in the last 50 years or so, they say. And uh, that's about as much as I can get off the 1LE. That'll be good enough to get inside the car, which we'll do next. But before, we're going to have to do a cold start for you. So here's what I'm talking about everybody. I hope you can see this. Um, what you see in the center of the dash here is the driver information center and the drive mode. Right now it's in sport mode. And if I click this button down here, there's track mode, of course, and snow and ice mode. So I'll go back up, kind of toggle through track down to snow and ice. So snow and ice mode. What do you mean GM? Do you mean that this thing can work in the snow? Do you mean that the 1LE is capable of driving in the snow? So what we're going to test out here is if this car in snow and ice mode actually will drive up my street, which has been covered in snow for the better part of five or six days now. Well, obviously, I'm not going to try this test with the stock 20s and the Goodyear Supercar 3s. I mean, those tires under 10 degrees above zero were pretty much useless on this car. So at minus 10 and snow, we've got to go to something a little different. So we've got a set of factory 18 by 8 and a half four-cylinder turbo Camaro wheels. These are the lowest trim model wheels anyways. And a set of Firestone weather grip tires that are pretty narrow. I think they're a 255, uh, 5018. They're a mud and snow. They have the snowflake symbol. They're an all weather tire. As you can see, that's what we're gonna try to go up. There's a slight incline there. So let's try to go up that hill and see how well these do. All right, let's go for a little cruise here see how she goes.
the snow is fairly cold and it's fairly hard packed and it's not very slushy, which we normally get here in the 604. Uh, so this cold snap definitely helped. But the thing is very easy to control, very easy to cut donuts in as you saw. And I quite like it, so I might actually take this car out and uh, continue to use it as my winter. Well, there you have it. I guess GM really knew what they were doing when they put snow and ice mode in the 1LE, didn't they? I mean, the car was absolutely fantastic. Went up the hill, no problem. Turned the traction control off. I was able to cut some nice little donuts. What it does is it actually keeps the wheel speed down, snow and ice mode. So it has some traction control logic, very smart traction control. So you're not actually just digging holes and burying your tires and your axles. So. Yeah, well done GM. Hope you enjoyed it and remember, keep the shiny side up or in this case, keep the snowy side up. <laughs>